Hey everyone, hope you all had a good morning and that you guys all slept well. Um, just, uh, I'm, I, I started my cover to cover journey for the Bible. Um, actually started a long time ago, but trying to make some progress lately. And um, right now I'm going through Deuteronomy and reading through Numbers and Exodus and Numbers uh, was such a um, just amazing journey um, you know seeing God working in Israelites moving them out of Egypt um, seeing the Israelites struggle uh, with their faithfulness to God and come constantly just doubting him and 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 you know God's response to uh, the actions of Israelites you know it's just the whole journey it's it's mind-blowing right um, now I'm in Deuteronomy this is where Moses uh, was going through a recap just just remind you know going through the whole recap of the entire journey of the Israelites and um, so today uh, I was reading chapter 2 of Deuteronomy and and this is where the uh, the Israelites um, when when God was so furious of the Israelites who were just constantly doubting him and and treating him like with contempt uh, so God was furious and he declared that hey you know what all the all of those people who were uh, not faithful to him um, you guys will all die you guys will not enter the, the promised land so that's that takes 40 years for those people to you know die and then the next generation of people um, will be uh, going into the land of Canaan yeah the part that stuck out to me the most was verse 7 for the Lord your God has blessed you in all the work of your hands. He has watched over your journey through this immense wilderness. The Lord your God has been with you this past 40 years, and you have lacked nothing. And here, it's, it's just what stuck out to me the most is just, you know, I mean, I'm an accountant, okay? I the, the only work that I do involving my hand is just clicking and, and typing a few things, um, gathering financial reports. Um, some of us are medical professionals where we actually use our hands to, to practice medicine or, or dentists who uh, actually use our hands on our patients. Or some of us are, um, you know, I don't know, builders. And can you believe that the Lord your God has blessed us in all the work that we do with our hands. The Lord your God has been with you this past 40 years and you have lacked nothing. You see the Israelites, they spent 40 years in the wilderness. And I'm pretty sure if I was one of them, I would, I would be going through a lot of, lot of, just a lot of different emotions of, you know, resentment, hopelessness, like, oh my goodness, when is this? gonna end when are we going to actually make things happen you know they, they're probably you know I'm sure they worked a lot building tents and taking it all off journey um, you know spending a lot of times walking in the desert it's it's probably it was probably not easy for them mentally also right um, but here what this is what God says to us to the Israelites he says God, He has watched over your journey through this immense wilderness. It, it's just that the same as God is watching us as we go through the challenges of our lives. This week, I don't know if some of us are stressed out about work. Some of us might have a hard time. Actually, for me, like in the morning, there are times when I wake up in the morning and I, I, I wish I just didn't have to work. You know, it's just so hard sometimes and it's stressful and challenging. But God watches over our journey through the immense wilderness. And Lord God, He He ha He is with us through this tough times and the wanderings and the times when we feel we are hopeless and we need something. And this is what you God says. You have lacked nothing. And this is when He's saying, Stephen, it's worth everything it's worth all those 40 years that you spent in the immense wilderness in, in those tough times it's worth everything 
because of the prize that we will get. It's worth every, every challenges, every suffering that we go through. It's totally worth it. And this is what God spoke to me today. I uh, just wanted to share with all of you. Just look at your hands and the work that you do has been blessed by God. And all the challenges that you go through today, it's totally worth it. Have faith in God. Know that He will deliver us. Let's hang tight, okay, to the Word of God and live by it, okay? Let's, let's obey His commands, study His words, and live by it, really. You know, we've seen Israelites struggle so much in, in their journey. And, and I'm reading, I'm like, are you stupid? Like, are you out of your minds? God like literally just specifically told you what to do and you just had to follow it. But you know what? If you actually think about it, this is us. We, we do this a lot. We, we fall into temptations of this world. We, we get caught up, we get distracted with the things of this world, the money, the career, the relationships, everything. But let's keep our focus. Our Lord, our God, um, He is with us. He is with, our, he is with you today. And um, just know that all the challenges that you go through, it's totally worth it. And hang tight and fight the good fight of faith today. Uh, let's pray. Our Father in heaven, uh, God, uh, we just thank you for giving us this day. God, uh, today some of us are heading to work, some of us um, are home, um, thinking about uh, the routine for the day or the agenda. Uh, Lord God, uh, not everything's easy here in this world. You know, I mean, we, we, we try very hard to make things work, but, but we just know that things are challenging, um, especially uh, with our work and, and, and the wilderness here on this earth that we live right now, Lord God, is very challenging and stressful at times. Um, help, help us to re re remember what you said in this verse right here that you said, the 40 years that Israelites spent in the wilderness has lacked nothing. And Lord, help us to remember that these days that we spent here on this earth is lacking nothing. And that is totally worth all of our effort, all of our, all of our uh, work that we put in. With these hands that you blessed, um, Lord God. And I just ask you to be with all of our friends and families today. And, and those people in our hearts. I just ask you to, um, to be with them. To, to let them know, to remind them that their work is blessed and that uh, you dwell in them, God, and, and help them to uh, live in the presence of your Holy Spirit today. Uh, Lord, thank you for uh, listening to my prayer. Pray these words in Jesus' name. Amen.